set our goals for 2017. Setting goals is the single most important thing that we do at the beginning of the year. It's the single most important thing that we do for ourselves to reach a level of success. Now let me ask you a question. Why is setting goals? Why do I say it's so very, very important? Postway, can you mumble? Okay. <laughs> uh, so we have a destination. A destination. Exactly. Anytime we want to take a trip in a car, we usually have a destination, right? And then when I, when I figure out what my destination is, I have a map. Mm -hmm. And I always know why I'm going there, right? I, I'm going to drive to Philadelphia. Well, I got a map to get me to Philadelphia, and I know exactly why I'm going. I'm going to go visit my sticking in laws. So I know exactly why I'm going where I'm going, right? So there's going to be three steps for you guys setting your goals today. And we're going to do this together today. The first step is setting the goal itself. What is it that I want to achieve this year? And when I want you guys to think about your goals, it ain't just money. There should be a lot more included in your goals, right? Right. It's, what am I going to do to learn? How am I going to learn more? How am I going to fix and repair relationships that I've had that aren't working? How am I going to make sure that I stay spiritual throughout the year? What am I going to do to improve that? What am I going to do to improve all the aspects of my life to make sure I'm living a life in balance that's also financially comfortable for me to move forward with? Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to set the goal. Then we're going to create a plan to achieve that goal. Because a goal without a plan is useless, isn't it? I know what I want. I have no idea how I'm going to get it. So, that doesn't do very well for my goal setting, does it? So I'm going to have a plan. I'm going to set my goal. I'm going to create a plan. And you know what the most important thing, that third element, you know what the most important part is? The why. Why do I want these things? Why do I want to learn more? Why do I want to make $150,000? At the end of the day, believe it or not, it's not money that motivates you. I say to people, well, what motivates you? It's the money. It's not the money. It's what you can do with the money. It's what the money can do for you. You know, money gives us more than just the ability to buy, you know, cars, motorcycles, and boats. Right. Right? It gives us that, that feeling of, of, of comfort, right? It lets us know that when the bills come in, I can pay them so I can live comfortably, put food on the table, I can provide for my children, I can provide an education for my kids. How many people have kids that we know of? <laughs> yeah, you're laughing, right? <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> so we, we want to do things for our children, right? Because I know that's what motivated me every morning. It wasn't going out and making money. It was going out and doing things that I knew would benefit my family so that I could send my children to college if that's where they wanted to go, if that's what they wanted to do. So let's start thinking about the goals we want to set. So let's go around the room a little bit. For now, how many